the earth is the Lord. The earth belongs to God and everything that exists belongs to Him. He owns everything, the master of the universe. Therefore this afternoon, let us worship the King of Kings. Let us sing praises to Him. Jesus. Uh, welcome very much uh, for this session, uh, our third day. Uh, that is the Jesus Conversation uh, Conference. And uh, I want us to continue with our series on the blood of Jesus, what the blood of Jesus has achieved for us. And uh, today I want us to look at Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7. And this is what the Bible says. Before we pray, in him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace. Glory to Jesus. And then let us also look at uh, 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 First Peter chapter number 1. Mm -hmm. First Peter chapter number 1 uh, from verse 16. Let's hear what the Bible says. Uh, from verse 16 and the Bible says since it is written you shall be holy for I am holy and if you invoke as and if you invoke as father him who judges each one uh, impartially according to his deeds conduct yourself in fear throughout the time of your exile you know that you are ransomed from the fatal ways inherited from your fathers, not with perishable things such as silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Jesus Christ, like that of a lamb without blemish or spot. Uh, let us pray. Father, thank you for uh, this uh, teach us about redemption by your blood. Let your word be formed in us, in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to welcome you again. Thank you for tuning in as we continue with our reflection. And today, uh, let us look at uh, something else that the blood or another, another thing that the blood of Jesus has achieved for us. And uh, if you look at Ephesians 1.7, the Bible says that we have been redeemed 
by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Verse 7, in him, that is in Jesus Christ, we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses. We have talked about forgiveness of our trespasses, uh, that the blood of Jesus cleanses us from our sin and from our sins. So it continues to cleanse us, actually. And uh, the, we cannot outgrow the blood of Jesus. It is older than you. It is older than me. And uh, it was there. Uh, the blood of Jesus is eternal and everlasting in simple terms. And now the blood uh, of Jesus. Uh, we have been redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. And when we talk about redemption, I don't know uh, how you call it in your own language or uh, what it means in your uh, own language. But I want to say this. Uh, redemption is a term that was used in slave trade. Uh, where some guys, uh, we know that there was a slave, tra there was tr slave trade uh, where slaves were being sold. And uh, we had some guys who volunteered and uh, uh, they bought these slaves and released them for free. So to be redeemed is to be bought back, is to be bought back, and is to be bought back wholly, not in parts, wholly. So when Jesus bought us, uh, we know what an wholesale mean. Uh, we were bought in an wholesale form, wholly. Uh, such that no part of our life was not redeemed. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ has redeemed us. He has bought us back uh, from the slavery, one, of sin, our fetal ways, the ways that we used to live uh, when we still had the old man. So we were slaves to sin and Satan. But Jesus Christ came and brought us back. Praise the name of Jesus. Let me give you a good picture or a good example that foreshadowed a redemption. And uh, we know very well the story of Exodus, uh, the Passover. And uh, when God wanted to deliver the children of Israel, uh, he used all the plagues. Uh, but Pharaoh was still resistant. And actually, Pharaoh here represents the devil himself. And in this case, uh, God uses the last miracle. He demonstrates his power using the last miracle. That is the blood, the plague. That is uh, the plague of the death of the firstborn, of male firstborn of the Egyptians. And now God instructs Moses to tell the children of Israel to kill a lamb, a pure lamb without blemish. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. And after doing that, killing a pure lamb uh, without uh, blemish, they were to eat the meat, roast it, and eat it. And again, they were to smear the blood. Eh? They were to smear the blood on the doorpost. And actually, there is something here. When they were smearing the blood of this lamb, on the doorpost, they were smearing the life of this lamb, actually, this lamb that died in their place. Remember, we say that there is life in the blood, for the life of the flesh is in the blood. So they killed the animal, a perfect lamb without blemish, and they smeared his, uh -huh, his blood on the doorpost. This one foreshadows Jesus Christ, who was going to die on the cross who was going to shed this, to pour out his life on the cross, who was going to shed his blood uh, on the cross uh, for you and for me. And now the Bible says that we have been redeemed with the precious blood of the Lamb, precious blood of Jesus Christ, as a Lamb of God without any blemish, without any spot. So they also killed an animal, praise the name of Jesus, that had no spot and it was concealed to them in those days that they could not see Jesus in this. But this one 
signifies or, or foreshadows at the death of Jesus Christ on the cross. As they smeared the life, the blood of that animal on the doorpost, Jesus Christ also shed his blood so that when the angel of death came, aha, they were passed over. Praise the name of Jesus. Where the blood was shed, there was life. And there where there was no blood, there was no life, there was death, groaning, people groaned, people cried, there was wailing in the land of Egypt. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So, after doing this, uh, Pharaoh could not resist this last miracle, using of the blood of the Lamb. Praise the name of Jesus. I want to tell you, dear brother, dear sister, they were delivered by the blood of that lamb that they killed, that Pasaka lamb. And that Pasaka lamb is Jesus Christ, who died for you and died for me. And we have been redeemed. We have been set free from the bondage of Satan and from bondage of sin. Initially, we were slaves to sin. We could do whatever sin wanted us to do. Sin dictated our lives. We could do what the devil wanted us to do. But when Jesus Christ came now, he appeared and with his own precious blood, he defeated Satan. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. He defeated Satan. He defeated sin. And he has set us free. And the Bible says that whoever the Son sets free, he is free indeed. Free simply means free. There is no any other vocab uh, vocabulary or any other language that we can use actually to describe the word free. Free is free. You don't need a specialist in curse breaking that will come and break a generational curse. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. When Jesus redeems you, he redeems you wholly and he sets you free from every bondage of sin. He sets you free from Satan. Praise the name of Jesus. Don't be lied to. And we as men of God, let us teach the children of God the right things. Let us show them their identity. And actually the blood of Jesus is rarely preached. Praise the name of God. What to Anahepadam? Because they know that when they preach the blood, they will be written off. They will be sacked. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. They don't know. They don't want people to know the truth. They come with stories. Praise the name of Jesus. That deliverance is a process. Oh, after being born again, you need to uh, to be taken to deliverance classes. Praise the name of Jesus. Well and good. But I want to say this: what the Bible says, when Jesus sets you free, He sets you free indeed. And free simply means free. He said that it is finished. So no preacher can add anything to that, that it was not finished. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says that we have been redeemed by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And the lamb without blemish. And that is what happened. And Pharaoh could not resist the blood. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. He resisted all other miracles, but he could not resist this one. God said that this one, he will let you go. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. And we have been redeemed now. We have been bought back. We were lost. We were lost in sin. Praise the name of Jesus. We were slaves to sin, but we have been brought back. And now we belong to God. We are his own possession. After being bought, Christ on us. And that is why we say that Jesus Christ is my Lord. He is the master over my life and he controls my life. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. This is amazing. We, has, we have been bought back by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Money can buy things, but money cannot take you to heaven. Money can buy things, but money cannot buy eternity. Gold and silver are perishable, but I want to tell you that the blood of Jesus Christ 
has obtained for us eternal redemption. The, as the blood is eternal, our redemption is also eternal. Praise the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus does not do a half baked things. The blood of Jesus is not perishable. The blood of Jesus cannot lose its power. The blood of Jesus is eternal and it has obtained for us eternal redemption. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Now we belong to God. We belong to Jesus Christ. I belong to Jesus and you belong to Jesus, my dear brother and sister. Did you know that the Bible says that you are the bride of Jesus Christ because he has bought you. He has bought me with his own precious blood of Jesus and his blood has obtained for us eternal redemption. Glory to Jesus. I don't need any other preacher to come from somewhere to tell me that hope oh, that you are not born again properly. Praise the name of Jesus. You need to go to deliverance classes. You need to be uh, taught. Christianity is not about syllabus. Praise the name of Jesus. Christianity is not about reciting some prayers. Christianity is about encountering the blood of Jesus that has got power to redeem you from the forces of darkness and from the forces of sin. Glory to God. The devil was defeated at the cross. Glory to God. Let me take you somewhere. Colossians chapter 2 verse number uh, 14 and 15. I want you to listen to this. This is what the Bible says from verse number 14. Having cancelled the bond which stood against us with the legal with its legal demand, this he set aside, nailing it to the cross. He disarmed the principalities and powers and made a public example of them, triumphing over them in him. By his cross, he ashamed them publicly on the cross. I want to tell you this, that the devil made his match at the cross and he was defeated. He was ashamed at the cross. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. So let all the eyes, let our focus be on Jesus who defeated the enemy who defeated the devil. And when you focus on Jesus Christ, you encounter him and you focus on Jesus Christ, you will live a free, a life of freedom from sin and from uh, the forces of darkness. Because you have been redeemed, we belong to Jesus Christ. I am his, I am not my own. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. I belong to Jesus because of his precious blood. His blood is precious than gold. His blood is eternal and it has obtained for us eternal redemption from the forces of darkness and the forces of sin. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. That is what the blood of Jesus has done. That is what the blood of Jesus can do. If you believe in Jesus Christ, I want to tell you, my brother, my sister, you cannot remain the same again. You will be free. Forever the man, son of man, sets free, is free indeed. Is free indeed. Finally, as we, uh, as we finish, let's look at Hebrews chapter 9, 13, 14. As we look at the last part, of our uh, the last part number nine chapter nine verse hebrews 9 13 and uh, this is what the bible says for if the sprinkling of of defiled person with the blood of animals goats and bulls and with the ashes of an of a heifer sanctifies for the purification of the flesh so the blood of goats and bulls cleansed the sinner cleansed the flesh, praise the name of Jesus Christ, actually covered the sins of that particular sinner. Now, uh -huh, and he said, how much more, how much more shall the blood of Christ, and I want to ask you, how much more, if the blood of bulls, the blood of God could cleanse 
the flesh, could cleanse the sinner. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. How much more, how much more will the blood of Jesus do to us? This is what the blood can achieve, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without blemish to God, purifying your conscience from dead works to serve the living God. Glory to Jesus. How much more will the blood of Jesus Christ do? It does not cleanse your body. The blood of Jesus cleanses even your conscience. Remember when man sinned against God, his conscience became sin. And whatever he could think was sin. Praise the name of Jesus. And that is why the religious friends, I want to tell you this. If you have never encountered Jesus and you are serving, it doesn't matter whether you are preaching, it doesn't matter the position that you are holding, it doesn't matter whether you have the collar or not. If you have not encountered the blood of Jesus Christ, you will still struggle with sin consciousness because it is only the blood of Jesus that is able to cleanse our conscience from sins from dead works. Remember, sin leads to what? To death. The sin's activities or acts of sins are dead works and they lead to death. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. And now Jesus Christ, through his blood, glory to God, he purges, he cleanses our conscience that we won't struggle with sin consciousness. But now because we have the mind of Christ, glory to God, now we have the mind of Christ in us and we think as Christ thinks. We reason as he reasons. And that is why the Bible says we are ambassadors of God now. That is when we can be in a position to represent Christ rightly. That is when we can serve him with a sober conscience, a sober mind, a clear mind. But we cannot serve the living God while still living, while still living under the power of sin. Praise the name of Jesus. So the blood of Jesus cleanses our conscience, our dirty conscience, our filthy conscience. Doesn't matter how filthy your mind is, when you encounter the blood of Jesus, the blood is able to cleanse your conscience from dead works of sin, from the things you used to do. The blood of Jesus is able to dry up that thirst for alcohol. The blood of Jesus is able to dry up that thirst for immorality, that thirst for theft, that thirst, praise the name of Jesus, that thirst for cigarette, that thirst for cigarette, it is able to dry it, it is able to delete it when you encounter the blood of Jesus. But religion, brother and sister, will kill you. You will die with your religion. Praise the name of Jesus. That is why after service, you go out there, you meet in your cocoons and begin to Take busas, praise the name of Jesus Christ. That is why you attend a church service when you are back, you still go back to your cigarette. Praise the name of Jesus. You go with it while smoking. When you reach the church door, you, uh, you put it in your pocket. And then you praise God. After that, you go back, then you remove it. Praise, that is pure religion. Praise the name of Jesus. But I want to tell you there is a solution for that. The blood of Jesus is able to cleanse you from sin consciousness so that you can serve God with a clear mind. For we now have the mind of Christ himself. Praise the name of Jesus. We have the mind of Jesus Christ himself. Glory to God. Are you struggling with sin consciousness? You are serving but still struggling. You are still struggling in sin I have a solution for you. The blood of Jesus Christ is able to redeem you from sin. It's able to redeem you from the bondage of Satan. And now you belong to God. And salvation will preserve you. In Christ Jesus, in Christ Jesus, we are high above the principalities. No witch, no charm. The Bible says that no charm will hurt the descendant of Jacob. 
Praise the name of Jesus. So when you have encountered the blood of Jesus, witches, they are not a problem to us. In fact, we just live in Christ Jesus. Praise the name of God. Because our focus in Jesus is on Jesus Christ. The more we focus on Jesus Christ, the more victory we have. Dear brother, dear sister, you have been redeemed. And somebody sing, Redeem how I love to proclaim it. Redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Redeemed through His infinite mercy. His child and forever I am. Redeemed, redeemed. Redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Redeem, redeem, his child and forever I am. Glory to God. I am a child of God. I have been redeemed. I belong to Jesus. If you are there and you have never encountered Jesus, it is a great opportunity for you encounter Jesus in your life. Just believe in your heart that he died for you and confess with your tongue that he is Lord and you will be saved. Just say, Lord Jesus, I believe that you died for me and you resurrected. Oh Jesus, I confess you as Lord and my Savior. Be my Lord. Be my Savior from this day. Take over my heart. Rule over my heart. Rule over my mind. In your name, I am born again. And if you are there, you are struggling with sin, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that the blood of Jesus that is able to delete every sin conscious, that is able to cleanse your conscious, filthy conscious, to cleanse you in the name of Jesus Christ. For there is power in the blood of Jesus to cleanse our conscience that we may serve God with a sober mind, with a sober conscience. God bless you so much. Welcome tomorrow as we climax on this topic, the power that is the blood of Jesus. God bless you so much. Thank you.